how's it going? My name is Robert. I'm with uh, Middleby Marshall. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, wire up a new West controller. Now as you know the Honeywell controller that we've had in our uh, classic line ovens uh, has been in there for well over 20 years. Um, turned out that uh, they weren't manufacturing them anymore. We had to get a um, another manufacturer so that we can continue to have uh, these controllers available to our customers. And the new kit is a 75729, which is a West controller. This is straight out of the box right here. So this is what you'll re receive when you get the package. You've got some instructions. You've got uh, a couple jumpers in there. Uh, most importantly, you've got the new West controller. Okay. And the new West controller comes partially wired. That is, it's wired from the temperature controller to these terminal blocks, okay? You got a male and you got a female terminal block and that's what we're going to do today. Um, so I don't want to take this out yet. Um, I wanna make sure that it's here and that I can wire from this controller to these terminal blocks, which is, uh, which is what we'll do. Um, so to, in order to do that, I can take the male out of the uh, female socket there, and I could work with just this without even having to mess with this right now. So you'll notice that on here, you've got numbers one through 11, okay? And on the back of your controller, and now you might not be able to see it so well when it's on there, but uh, you've got L1, L2, and then you've got terminals one through 16, okay? And those are directly going to correspond to your instructions here where you have Honeywell labels and terminal block pole. Right to here. Maybe we'll get a bigger one uh, for you guys so you could see it. Um, so all I'm going to do is take the, the Honeywell labels from here and I'm going to put it on the terminal block on these locations here. Now when I'm doing that, if I come across um, a Honeywell label that doesn't have a wire on it, then no big deal, then there's no wire there, then I don't have to worry about that, uh, worry about that wire. Um, so you will have a couple terminals that will still have a loose or uh, no, not, no wire going to it. Um, other things that are important to note is that on the back of your uh, terminal block it says uh, something about jumpers here so the only jumper that you're going to discard is the one between L1 and 10 so you got a jumper that goes to L1 to 10 you throw that one out okay any other jumpers that go from anywhere here or looping around to each other are going to be installed on the new uh, controller so the one that I am most uh, worried about this is a PS 360 S and I will I know that I will definitely have a jumper going from number five on this terminal block to number 10 and that is corresponding L1 um, well 12 and 5 from the back of this okay so simply put, I'm going to start uh, doing some wire for wire uh, swapping here. Okay, so all we're going to do is go from the Honeywell controller here. I'm going to wire it up with these terminals here based off of that little chart there. Now if that little chart doesn't have your wire on there, you don't see a Honeywell wire going to that terminal, then just... Um, don't include that and uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so the first one I got here is L1 to uh, 1. Now remember over here it says this jumper discard L1 and 10. Okay, so that's the only one we're going to discard. But if we look on my controller here, I only have two of them. We got the L1 to 10 one here, this brown one, this brown jumper. So let's just uh, loosen that guy up. And we'll just get rid of it. Okay. 
But beyond that, obviously this this one which is going from 5 to 10 is going to have to be on, well 5 to 12, I'm sorry. It's going to have to be on these, this terminal block here. It actually goes from 5 to 10 according to this chart here. So the first one is L1 to 1. So I'm going to do that now. It's this brown wire here. L1 to 1. Okay, next it's nine to two. Nine looks like a black wire. Okay, L2 to three. So we got this white wire going to L2. And I'm gonna put it over to number three. I got 11 to 4. 11 is an orange wire. Put it into number 4. We got 12 to 5. 12 is one of my jumpers. Looks like I got another wire coming from it. So then I have to put both of those wires, they're both purple, into the number 5 pin. So it looks like the number 5 will have two wires going to it. Right now, that's the only one that has it. And I think that in the end, that's the only one that's going to have it. So I'm going to take the jumper off of 5 as well here. And we'll just have to remember it came from 5. Okay, and go into number five. Nice and tight. Okay. 12 to 5, 16 to 6. We got no wire at 16, so I don't have to worry about it. 15 to 7. Once again, there's nothing on 15. Those are going to be for the electric ovens, 15 and 16, so I don't have to worry about it. I got 8 to 8 and 7 to 9. Now, 8 to 8 is my white wires for my thermocouple. And so I'm going to do the, the red ones too, which are at 7. So it looks like I got two thermocouples, so I took off eight, which is going to go to eight. And then my red wires are nine. which came from the 7 terminal. Okay. We got number 5, which is going to 10. Now that was my jumper, so here this was on 5. And jump it over to 10. And lastly, 4 to 11. Okay, tighten them all down. Make sure that none of them are, are touching across terminals. Okay, and if you find that any of these uh, wires are brittle or whatever, just cut it back, get yourself some new uh, good wire. And, uh, yep, that's how you hook up the uh, wires from the Honeywell to the terminal block. And 
and uh, I'm not ready to take this um, Honeywell controller mounting out. I got a screw on the front and the back. What I'm going to do is loosen that up. These little clips will come off, and then my old Honeywell controller will come out through the front, wham bam, my new West controller will go through the front, and you want to be careful about uh, these four terminals as they're sticking out, right? So they don't want to go through the square peg. So I could just put them forward for now. Give myself a little more room. Make sure it's going to be facing the right way. I've seen that one of the things I had to do was take this, uh, this mounting bracket off. Essentially what's going to happen is this is going to slide in. And then from the back, I'm going to have to put this thing onto the back. I think it goes like this, yeah. So it'll go on, to, on top of this, and uh, it'll lock it in from the back. I think earlier I lost a uh, little gasket, so that gasket will go on it. and easy. Slide it through the hole. Okay, it'll be flush mounted like that. On the back, put this bracket over my wires. Slide it on down. Try to go down evenly. You hear a click on all sides. Can't click anymore. Looks good. It's all nice and tight in there. Now all I'm going to do is hook back up the female into the male. Only goes one way. So find your rounded edge. Find your rounded edge on the female part. Join them together. And wham bam. That's uh, as easy as it is to install the new West controller.